Hey everybody, this is Rudy Sarza with The Dash and today's guest is the one and only from Steel Panther, my bass brother, Lexi Fox. Rudy, it's an honor to be here. Thanks. And your house is beautiful. Well, thank you so much. It's, really? uh, nice. yeah, it's uh, not bad for being in, in, in a little box. Uh, yeah, well, the, yeah, you know. the little, yeah, the little box. Yeah, no. yeah, we keep adding rooms to it. You know, it's a never-ending process. It's just a bunch of little boxes. It's Lego. It looks, Lego. it looks, one big box on the outside. <laughs> it's it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful home. Oh, just, thank you so maybe much. Maybe just paint them. now. Yeah, I know. It's, it's uh, it, I, I'm working on it. Go ahead, hey, take your time. I know you've been busy as well. So. Yeah, you know, and I had Adrian Vandenberg over, you know, uh, about a week ago, and he's he paints. Oh, does he? Yeah, but I when he when he told me he was a painter, I thought he painted houses. He actually paints canvas, you know, photos like that. Wow, you know? wow, wow, wow! You know, it, it's it's funny because we were with well, Adrian. I mean, you know, your White Snake brothers. I mean, how many guitar players actually did you have with White Snake? I mean, because you, uh, Adrian was one, and then and then and then uh, you, uh, how many did you go through? Because then. Yeah, we had uh, while I was still in the band. Uh, Adrian was like the the main, the main, you know, the mainstay. He and stayed Vivian, in the band. and Vivian, who I'm I, 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 I'm in touch with Vivian every once in a while as well too. Because oh, we did the yeah. Def Leppard thing. That's right. It was us, Miley Crew, and Def Leppard. So then yeah. I got to know Vivian, and again, just uh, just humbled to hear his stories. Of all I you guys. love I love Vivian. I love his playing. I love everything about him. He's a great guy. Yeah. And I'm glad I, he's I, better I, now as well. Oh yes, he's feeling a lot better. Oh, so yes, no, he's looking great. He looks fantastic. Yeah, he looks great. Yeah, he looks great. So, yeah, and as a matter of so, fact, Def Leppard was the opening band for uh, for Ozzy, so I got to meet all the guys. And at the time, uh, Phil Collin was not in the band. Wow. He was in the band called Girls. So we actually we toured with Def Leppard. Then we went over to England with Ozzy to do like the very very first leg of the Diary of the Madman tour, Amazing, right? which actually started off in Europe, in, in England. And then uh, Girl, which Phil Collin and Philip Lewis yep. came yep. from, yep. and I know there's a connection there for with you guys and exactly and that. the uh, you know I mean it's such an incestuous it, 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 I don't know what that word means this is the last <laughs> one you said but at the same time and we do have a connection but I don't think Phil knows he's got a beautiful wife by the way have you have you met his wife if you do never read don't say Phil anything Collin about that. Or yeah don't Lewis. say about that both of them oh yeah. Yeah, just, we yeah, don't yeah, say anything yeah. about that. We keep it in the family. Okay, but it is. Yeah, again, it's great to be here and just pick your brain a little bit too. Kinda. Yeah. Okay. But please but, do. Yeah. He hasn't been picked in a long time. Ah. Uh, no, because you use your fingers mostly, right? I, I definitely. Yes. People ask me if I have picks, and I say, yeah, I pick my nose. That's, <laughs> yeah. That's about it. You know. great. When is a boogie? Uh, when 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 is a boogie? Like when uh, your music's right. playing, and and then you'd feel like getting down. I That's I, when pick, I pick my nose when I boogie. Uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, you, you you know how do you uh, make a, With a handkerchief dance? You put a little boogie in it. That's right. That's my that's my that's my boogie joke. So tell me, you know, you guys have an incredible history, and as far as uh, you know, a, a history filled with some controversy. And lately, there's been this controversy about this pussy Pedal? melter. melter? Yeah. And I gotta tell you, as yeah. a, as a somebody who who is into animal rights. I'm a little bit appalled about that because just the thought of having kitties melting. No, Rudy, see, that's I, I, I understand what you're saying with that, but it's not what you're thinking. I'm an animal person, too. I mean, I know they exist. And so, like, like, like the, we're talking about a girl's, can I say vagina on here? That's a proper word to I, say vagina, right? This is a podcast. I pussy, oh, you said allowed. pussy before. Yeah, so... Yeah, it's about a girl's vagina, and what it is is the pedal. It's such a sexy pedal. You know how she like like speaking of Vandenberg or or, or, or whoever, they just shreds or vi or whatever. If I was a girl and I don't have a penis, and now taking these pills, you can today's you can make it last longer the older we get, which is kick ass. But playing the guitar at, at, and Satchel was like, here's what happens when I push this button, and it's there was three girls in the studio, and their vagina started to drip and melt down the side of their pants. One one. They're both fine now, but started melting. One was so hot on one side of the leg. Anyway, so it's proven that it works. So it's not about cats. Not about cats. I'm glad we cleared that up okay, because I, I wouldn't be part now. of anything okay, that okay. you don't, well, you wouldn't yeah, approve of. I, I appreciate no, that. But, wow, I'm glad I came over. I wouldn't want you okay. to think at all that I'm part of uh, melting cats or doing anything like okay, that. Good. Although it does get hot out here where you live. So you, 
Yes, it does. It does. <laughs> we got melting squirrels. Melting yeah. squirrels? See, yeah. no, we don't use that pedal. Yeah. <laughs> we don't use that pedal, Rudy. We just go right for the vajay. <laughs> so. so tell me, are you guys, obviously, you're, 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 you're taking a break from touring because yeah. you've got, you're always we were gone, on the road. We were gone forever, and it's great. I, I get know. to do it now because, of, yeah, being, yeah, being with, yeah, you know, moving into a new place right now and being able to, you know, put up some, some, some you know, pictures while, and things like that. I can, I can be home for that. And what a break. It's been because I've been gone for so long. It's just nice to have some time off and be able to do this and connect with you. But by taking a look at you and seeing all the photos, uh, you know, on social media about you guys, when you say you you get to put up photos, pictures yeah. on the walls yeah, of like, your home, yeah. I, 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 I gather they're only about you. You know what? I will send a picture. Of course they are. Rudy? <laughs> <laughs> what did you think? I meant pictures of other people or art or shit like that. Well, no, I just no. want to clarify. No, 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 no. I'll send them over a bunch of pictures. I should have brought pictures over. I've got five in the car. Or, you know, well, they're different with different shit on, you know. But I didn't know if it was going to be appropriate to bring over here and be that, you know, that be that bold. But, yeah, I mean, and the older I get and the more surgery you have, I like to take pictures while, you know, again, after like my lips or cheekbones or whatever it is. Now the older I get. And, Rudy, the only reason I'm keeping my job is because I tan and because I – and because I get Botox, and because again, anybody could kick the shit out of me at base. It's, it's actually embarrassing to, to even be here with you, and that you even want me on this show. Um, because again, it's it's I just care about how you look. It's not what's on the inside; it's what's on the outside. And I think you believe that, don't you? You know, you are one of the premier '80s bass players in the <laughs> new millennium. Well, I appreciate that, but you again, know, I and, and I really I'll get have, fired at any time if they if I if well, anybody, I, tell me about it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> no, usually what happens? I I don't get fired. The bi- the band just breaks up. <laughs> you know what? And, and, and I then, suck. And Rudy, what is Rudy? And then they get back together again every, without me. And then and then, but it's ten years old. Yeah, they're fun. We don't know how to do this again. He's gone through this so many damn times. So here's what we do: just wait, just wait. He'll write it. He won't ask any questions. He'll find another band, and then we'll reunite, and he won't be mad at us. I get it. Rudy. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. That, that's yeah. But there's a documentary that 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 that, that you actually had that I did that the guys were telling me about to watch because uh, with, with with all the bands you've been in, what is it or that you're? That you're I had so many documentaries you know what, that, that yeah, I stopped then, making documentaries because I didn't want to become that the documentary I got you, guy. Got yeah, you know, yeah, or that yeah that guy yeah, that I, guy that makes every documentary. You've had enough yeah. of that. Yeah, but uh, I. Uh, documentaries. I mean, it's it's so incredible. You know, you you. It's kind of like like this podcast, but it takes like three years for the documentary to be finished. Yeah, it's I was just, just thinking twenty interview. minutes here is all I got. Yeah. It's well, not, yeah. Okay. That's uh, good. three. Yeah, because yeah. that's a long. I don't know how long your podcast <laughs> I, has. You scared the shit out of me. Right? I, I I think uh, the listeners will only be able to to take twenty yeah. minutes yeah, of us yes, talking exactly. about this. But, you know. But, but you know, one of the things that I really want to commit, you know, make a comment is that I believe. And I watched it closely. That you guys brought back the '80s. It was it's something we do it a different way, obviously. You know, and I'm glad that <clears throat> you know you that you appreciated it, paid that much attention to us. It was an honor that you it's played on our last career record. again. Are it, you it, kidding? It, if, if it wasn't for you guys, all of the '80s bands were, wouldn't be well, on tour. And you know what it is. And obviously, we speak in different. Like you guys, I mean, are pretty straightforward with. So you guys do it different way, like White Snake or, or, or Quiet Riot or whatever. But we. We use words that can't be on the radio or whatever, but again, with Satchel just shredding, and it's an 80s, and we're bringing back not just that, but the style, the fashion. What of, radio? There's, <laughs> what radio exists anymore anyway, right? Ex- exactly, exactly. But yeah, we do it in a, in a different way, and there's a lot of controversy, like you said, about what, 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 what we write about and what we don't. And we talk about the 80s, partying, girls. Remember when there was girls in videos? Remember Tony? I mean, I mean, how many times? I mean, the, I now that doesn't Tony have, frequently, you know, she's the the, the girl. Bobby Brown, Bobby yeah, Brown, yeah, Bobby I Brown. I mean, what happened yeah, to girls like yeah. that in videos? That doesn't happen anymore. So that's what we try yeah, to do with Bobby our videos. Bobby Brown didn't do somersaults. She did know. not do somersaults, even yeah. though now we did a video. We did a uh, she she's kind of my mom in a video i don't know if you saw lexi's mom's garage but mm-hmm. she plays my, and she does do somersaults and the guy the guys oh, really? do, do somersaults she doesn't remember them but but, <laughs> but but at the same time so she still likes the party but again we're bringing back a, a time uh, yeah. you know and, and where where you know you just you it was bitching to look like a girl you remember when you had your blonde hair well, I mean, you, you were you were yeah you were pretty and listen, you still are in order to get girls you had to look like a girl that's exactly it, but a lot yeah. of kids don't know that nowadays yeah. you know so that's Those what were the days, you know, I mean, but there was a reason why I, I, 
Were you ever a starving musician on the Strip, on the Sansa Strip? You know what? I, I, I came out here. A lot of my friends were. And the reason they were starving is because when they would get something to eat, I'm not good at bass. I'm not good at doing stuff. But I would find a way to get their food. And, and when they weren't looking, <laughs> and, I, and they would be the ones starving. I'd be the ones like, oh, I'm not hungry. And that's why staying skinny is so, yeah, such an easy Yeah, you know, the do. guys that I, that I used to room with, they would stick their penis in the food, in their own personal food. So I would stay away from that. That but was the only way to keep... Is that what you guys would do back then? Yeah. That's the best, the only way to really keep your roommate from eating your food. Just stick your genitals in it. And does it yeah. have to be proven? Because I would just tell you, I would, I would, I'd be full of shit. Like, say well, we were living together, Woody, i go, dude, don't eat it. I put my dick in there. Yeah. Well, one time I was living with, with, with a guy that would poop in his food. And, he, you know, that, was the, that, was, that went beyond what I expected. So I just moved to another, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's place. not just don't eat his food. Yeah, just yeah. move. It poop. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you open the refrigerator yeah. and the stench would just kill you. Oh, you know. what a shithead. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> but getting back but to that. it's good to be off a break from tour anyway. That's, right. Anyways, That's so. right. Yeah, but getting back to living on the strip, you know, literally yeah. living on the Sunset Strip. Because, I mean, you would just go home, you know, with your you roommates. Go right up the hill, exactly. You'd be ham and cheese, and you go yeah. up there and just sort it out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, as a matter of fact, I, I had Frankie Benelli on the podcast a, um, a, a, fan a couple of, of weeks well. ago. And, uh, we were, you have all we the were best rock ready. stars on your on your show yeah, I well, gotta... well they're just like you you know we're all friends and we're all, we're all connected you know yeah. and uh, uh, I, we were just reminiscing about about our you know be, being starving musicians and one of the things that, that a lot of people that were not around in the 70s because it all started in the 70s exactly I mean, if, if, and you were part of that Rudy that's why I'm so that's why I, I've always been a big fan you 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 play with the best guitar players in the world, and we, that's why you yeah. have so much respect. Well, and exactly, you already started in the seventies. Back 70s. in the seventies, I used to play with uh, with Randy Rhodes. You know, one of the probably the greatest you know heavy metal guitar player. all time. You know, in my opinion. And course, so, well, you know. in my opinion as well. Yeah, I was telling yeah. my, my uh, a friend about that the other day. What an honor it is, just because you played with the best guitar players. You talk about Vandenberg. You talk about all of them from Rhodes to Fight because you're such a badass bass player. That, that's one of those things that you started as far as bass players being the bass player. I'm an easy guy to get along. That's, of course, of course you are. I, or else I wouldn't be on here. <laughs> you know, uh, so, you know, going back into the 70s, uh, there was a lot of starving going on. I mean, if you ask like Nikki Six, you know, I mean, I would say the guys... Uh, We've done his all, shows. I've done his know, shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was in a yeah, band yeah. called London and then he turned yes, into Motley Crue. We right. all used to play the same circuit and it was all about survival, you know. And it was about you're you're skinny because you're starving. You're a starving musician, and, and you got no money to buy clothes. So every time a girl would be gracious enough to take you home and and you know share a bed with you, because you don't really have a bed, even if <laughs> even if you're living somewhere, if if you know with a roommate, you're sleeping on the floor. Or maybe you got a very thin mattress, you know. And now you're in a bed with a lady, and then she makes you breakfast, and then you go through her closet. And pick something that fits you and, and looks that's good on stage. That makes and perfect that's sense. That's what we use for the videos. That's why we wore. That's exactly what. Yeah, yeah right. That's you know? a guilt. And then yeah. you hope that her friends have money, or she does, and then you, you keep that relationship with that. That's amazing. Yeah. And you know, it was all it, it was mutual consent. I mean, nobody was forcing the other party to do something like that. And, oh, no. You know. Nowadays, you yeah, the same thing. Except it's well, we won't talk about that. There's pills that they have now that they they they, they don't remember anything. I'm not part of that at all. Oh, but God. you can see what you see. There's different ways ready <laughs> nowadays well, yeah we don't, you know, we don't do it like that because, well you know you have to you have to have some dignity and at the same time the 70s they didn't make the kind of pills yeah. they have now so you guys did the best you could because when you're a starving musician you got no dignity at all well you got some now there's pills you can have a lot bigger of a, a dignity that's what i'm dignity yeah. that i'm telling you now you have to look dignified you have to have some morals it's another a word. lot of morals but the dignity levels there's really to diminish you know yeah. The longer it takes you to actually get that break. Again, you know? that's what makes but that But then pill. again, you have to be respectful. Yeah, you know? Obviously. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. And, you know? and again, and again, that's, that's part of you, you. You cut your teeth. I mean, that literally, you, you, that's, I grew up with everything just, you know, like just following what you did, how you played, and your style. And, and uh, you coming over here, Fred, and I, how, how, how many years, if you don't mind me asking, of course, were you here before? All the, before your first your first band, you mean in Los Angeles? In Los Angeles, in Los Angeles. I arrived in seventy five. I left with your brother, right? With my brother. Well, actually, uh, no, your- not with my brother. With Bob Arlett, and then uh, Frankie Benelli was a part of oh, that okay. configuration. Okay. 
Uh, and then I left and I came back in 70, 78, se- yeah, 77, 78. And uh, I, 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 yeah, it was 78. I don't have my, my diary. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but anyway. <laughs> but I used to keep like a high school girl, you know. <laughs> like, no, I used to keep.